Well, I'm out of paint, and that means time to go riding. <laughs> I see a beaver, a busy beaver that is. I love this door. Plus, I just like saying busy beaver. Well, anyways, this is where we got the flooring. Um, you have several different choices and collars. As you can see, it's not that expensive. It took about three boxes. Uh, it snaps right together. No problems. You don't have to glue it down. It's a floating floor. You can take a utility knife and just score it across the top if you're just cutting it or you can take a type of hacksaw or jigsaw to cut out your corners and stuff you have many different collars and choices um, sorry about the video I just tried a new camera out and obviously have a setting wrong somewhere but uh, here's the chalk paint uh, you can get it in this can here where you just roll it on two coats will do it it's a little pricey where this can right here you can just spray it on on smaller areas uh, yeah 17 almost 18 dollars for a can and I use very little uh, this is the paint that I used for the cabinets as you can see all different colors and it worked really well we'll get into that later all right one of the first things I've done is I removed all of the cabinet doors and I removed all the hardware as well as uh, your hinges. I'm going to update the hinges. And on my project list, I see they've got the new push button latches that are very clean. Uh, I think that will look good with my color choice with the gray. So I got the backs painted, but uh, I haven't got the fronts painted yet. I'm just started. I gotta get these all peeled off and sanded. But uh, like I say, just have your project list. Know what you want. Uh, first thing I did is I took everything off that uh, you don't want painted. And obviously, I'm gonna put new curtains. Uh, get my doors painted. My new hinges. My new push button latches. I want to do LEDs. Uh, the plan is right here. I want to put in my stereo DVD system and maybe my solar control unit. Uh, it has this nice little hole right here. Basically, my drain vent is in here, but I'm going to be able to drill right down through there and be able. That's an awesome location in order to run my uh, wires uh, because I'm probably going to come down through there with my solar panel wiring and uh, then in here uh, is where I'm going to put my batteries and all my electrical uh, I want to be able to put my TV over here I want to be able to watch it in bed and then turn it to where I can also watch it from the couch or the table dinette um, yeah so that's what you got to do you got to come in and know what you want figure out where you want to put it before you even start just get a plan uh, it's going to change you may pick a collar you don't like uh, you may think things will fit here and won't fit there but for sure uh, set Sit down, make your checklist, and just know what you want. And so I'm going to go ahead and get back started on this, but I just wanted to show you how I got started, get everything off, get all the hardware off. That way it's out of your way. Um, I simply threw all my old hardware in here. Awesome hinges that are rusted, and that way I have it if I ever want to come back to it. But uh, most likely, I'm going to update it and we'll go from there. But that's where we're at at this point. 
So, yeah. That's the way I do it, whether it's right or wrong. We'll find out at the end. Thanks. All right, well, we're doing our kitchen cabinets, or I guess all of our cabinets. And I do the back because you paint the back and then you flip it over and you want your best finish on the front. So if any overspray or whatever gets on the back, it's not a real big deal. Uh, you do what you can to avoid it. So I usually paint around the sides real good. That way you don't have to come around and get less overspray on the back of the cabinet. But you want to take a cloth and scuff it down and gets all the dirt off of it and gives it a little bit of something for the paint to bite. Uh, you don't want to use an aggressive sandpaper. You'll scratch the finish and uh, you'll see through the paint the scratches and stuff. So you just want to scuff it up, get the junk off of it and then uh, I usually paint around the edges real good and then I'll show you in a little bit later how I paint to get a, a good finish. Alright, uh, I'm using a spray paint, uh, Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover. This is a gloss dark gray. Uh, I thought I'd give you a little tips on how to paint. First get it in a place that uh, you don't mind getting overspray because it will definitely get overspray and also just as a reminder in the camper you want to keep all your windows open and, and get out as often as you can but um, as you can see here uh, I used to do auto body and the one thing uh, you have to do in order to get a good finish you got to keep your wet your wetness together or you'll get dry but if you get too heavy obviously you'll get a run so what I, basically what I do is I kind of come around, get the edges because you don't want to have to come back because if you get the inside of it all nice and looking good and then you come back and uh, have to redo, obviously I don't have the best setup here but this will work for what I'm working. Um, get the edges real good. You don't want to then come back and have to do it. but <clears throat> So you get it all around your edges. And then you basically want to keep your wetness together. So like wherever you last went, go back, keep it going. You don't want to just do circles here, there. and Because that way you will not be able to keep your wetness and not to get all the dry spots. See I'm getting some bugs. This is the back of the cabinet and I'm just using it as an experiment. Alright, so there you go. And then you can look and see and while it's still wet you can come back and if you had a little spot that's light go back in and do it again. But this this uh Rust-Oleum is really impressing me on how well it shines. Uh, I guess only time will tell uh, how durable it will be. Alright, I just thought I'd share that little tip on how to get a good finish out of paint. Alright, this is going to be a for sure do as I say, not as I do. I am so impatient. I cannot take the time to let something dry before I get started to the, on the next project. Uh, ideally you would want to uh, paint one side let it dry then get started on the other side it really just depends on how detail oriented you are uh, I don't mind a little mess up here or there uh, same way with these hinges uh, I wasn't going to use the hinges my push button latches never showed up I called the company that I got them from on eBay they just gave me my money back so I'm gonna go ahead and scuff these hinges down and paint them with a satin paint uh, I believe it's satin nickel uh, I was going to use chrome because the latches were chrome but I'm going to hold off one of that but the best way to do these uh, little screws is to poke them through a box but I don't do that I just lay them on the paper 
and I spray them, I roll them around, I spray them. It works, but ideally if you wanted to take the time and poke them through each and every one of them through a box and spray the heads, you can. Paint one side, let it dry, turn it over, paint the other side. You're going to get a lot better quality uh, finish out of it, but I just basically spray them, roll them around, and spray them. Uh, this is not a showpiece. It's going to be used at the racetrack. Uh, we're going to have uh, dust, dirt. It's going to be well used. Well, I'm out of paint, and that means time to go riding. All right, but before I go ride, I want to give you a little update on the inside of the camper. You see, I got the flooring down. Got the walls painted, I got the curtains up. As far as the wall paint, I just used the primer uh, with the paint. It was built in. I, I really suggest using primer. It's going to stick and last and take less uh, coats. I did not get the cushions updated yet. That will be later on. Uh, I did get the uh, floor done. The, there's the chalkboard paint. I really suggest using that for notes and keeping things updated. As you can see, the cabinets look good. I added this little garbage uh, bag holder. We just it works out real well. You just throw your garbage in there, and then you can just take it off there and throw it in the trash can and add a new bag. You always have Walmart bags. I haven't got the countertops updated. I did get the backsplash updated. I just used the flooring. That's what I've done. I did not like the options that the stick on stone had. Plus it's pricey. So I just used my back, uh, the backsplash. I just used extra flooring I had. Updated the thermostat. The old one didn't work. Uh, the gentleman told me about it. But uh, he just had a switch in here. On, furnace on, furnace off. Uh, obviously that's not going to work very well so we updated the uh, thermostat works really well uh, there's some of the gray paint um, very pleased inside we're not done yet but uh, we got the majority of it done got some touch up to do but time to go ride That's going to about do it for this video. I hope something will help you that you've seen in this video. Um, I really wasn't wanting to bore you with a bunch of stuff that you may already know how to do. I had some ideas on uh, painting the cabinets and the chalkboard and the flooring. Uh, the, using the flooring for the backsplash worked out really well. Uh, but this is the type of stuff we lived on and that's what this project's all about is getting a rig that we can just throw on the truck and go out and enjoy ourselves uh, we called our uh, channel uh, trail seeker adventures we're always out looking for a trail to go have an adventure on whether it be a mountain bike hiking uh, in a kayak whatever you want to do just go out there and enjoy life and this is going to help us to make it a little easier to get to a trail and uh, enjoy ourselves if you like this video, if there's something in here to help you out, make sure you push that red button down there on the bottom. That's what YouTube's all about. That's how we know you like what you're seeing. So thanks for watching, and on the next episode, we'll start on the outside, getting the outside painted. Uh, thanks for watching.